Hey everybody, and welcome back to Spinach Salad. I'm Sal, and I'm currently recording this live on my Twitch channel. If you want to come check me out, I am at twitch.tv slash minxal. Today, we're going to be going through all the best games of 2021 in Game Builder Garage. I'm going to be going through as many as I possibly can within my stream time limit. I'm going to be dedicating about one minute to each game, and we're going to get through as many as we can. We're going to start off with probably my favorite game of 2021. This is by Uma, Alice's Magic Book Adventure. I posted a separate video of it on my YouTube channel and I included it in one of my monthly recaps. Let me give you a minute preview of it. Just a heads up for this game, you should have a mouse. This does use um, the touch sensor. In this game, you play as Alice and you collect these flags. And in order to continue playing, you need to open up new books as they come along and we continue to grab the flags. There are puzzles throughout this game, so you have to solve the puzzles, like right here. How would I get up here? Well, we're gonna have to turn some pages, right? Turn this page, and just so you know, this is, like, you don't fall here right now, because there's nothing, even though there's nothing beneath you. Somehow Uma created it so you can do this. It's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna continue spoiling it, we're not gonna open the green book, but I highly recommend that you go check this 10 out of 10 game out. Next up on the list is a game that I'm sure you're familiar with my love of. It's The Arcade by Jeff. You do have to download multiple games for this. You have to go to his program or shared games, download the games associated with it, but I'll give you a quick preview of what's in store. As you can see, it's an arcade. And I will show you, there is a little secret area over here. I didn't discover this until recently. This is, there's nothing on this side. It's just like empty space on this side. But if you go to this wall and you look through this wall, you'll see there's actually another arcade on this side. You can't access this from this arcade. But if you go into the coding, it actually tells you how to make your own arcade, which is nice. If you want to get the codes, you can either go to his programmer ID or he has the featured games here. His programmer ID is there. I would highly recommend checking out The Sky is Falling and Squirrels of Fury because those are my favorite ones in here. But there's a ton of other games in here, including Slots, including Gunball, including... Hold on, there's Retro, there's a bunch of stuff. And if you go into the elevator, which you have to download separately, you can go to the basement, which is floor number zero. You can go to the main floor, which is floor number one. Or you can go to the second floor, which is floor number two. And here we are. Here are the featured games over here on this list. If you want, want to write them down to download them, you can check them out. You press A if you want to play them and the swap game node on will initiate and go back to the elevator if you want to switch floors. Let's go to my favorite floor, floor number two. This is the cool kids floor with all the cool kids and the cool kids games. I love the decorating on this second floor. You got this claw machine, you've got retro. There's a touch sensor that activates if you come in here, so the squirrel spins. <laughs> this guy's spinning around here. You have the sky is falling stuff over here. And you got this like little karaoke stage over here. It's an amazing game. One of the best games ever created in Game of the Garage. You have to go check this game out. For the record, Zhang Jungbu is an incredible creator. You should definitely check out all their shared games. You don't need another game to play this game. There's no swap game mode on like the previous one. This game is called Trick Shot, and I would highly recommend that you go check this game out. Welcome to Trick Shot. You can do two players if you want, which is pretty awesome. It's one or two players, and the goal, it's kind of like Duck Hunt, where you shoot things. <laughs> Your ammo's on the left, your score is on the left. You have to get these balloons. Different colored balloons go at different speeds. You have this cute little art down here with the bunnies holding the balloons. And the high score on the right is what you're trying to beat. It's, it's quite possible to beat the high score. I've done it before. Um, I think my high score is 1600. I have it written down somewhere. There's no penalties for missing balloons. If you get the bonus characters down here, like Dom just appeared, you will get a bunch of extra points. Points. But yeah, I'd highly recommend that you play this game because it's incredibly, incredibly well done. Next up on the list, we have Wire Action by Flatict. This is an incredible Spider-Man game. Nobody else has even attempted to create a Spider-Man game that I've seen in Game Builder Garage, and Flatict did a perfect job with this. Let me give you a tiny showcase. Hello, I am Spider-Man. There are unique controls. You press Y to shoot a web, and then you press B to <laughs> come up here. 
And you have to swing, just like Spider-Man. You have to swing to the top. Oh, I haven't played this one in a while, but... Oh, it's so much fun! Oh no, I'm clipping through the wall. That's my fault. There's some little indicators here to help you out. And the goal is to get to the top and get- there are UFOs on like the left I think? I see robots. It's a pretty big game, all things considered, because so much programming was used to create this masterpiece. If you like Spider-Man or just good games in general and Game Builder Garage, I highly recommend that you check this one out. Next up in my best games of 2021, we have VVVVVV. It's a recreation of a game that does exist, VVVVVVV. Um, and they did a pretty much a perfect job with it. Let me give you a small sample of what C Clitify has done here. Welcome to VVVVVV by Carson Compon. Original by Terry Kavanagh. I knew I was gonna mess that up. Anyway, you press B to switch the gravity. And there is a death counter in the top left corner. You press B to flip. And the goal is, well, to get to the end. And these things will kill you, so please avoid them. This level is actually pretty long, all things considered. Some games in Gable the Garage, when they do something incredible like this, it's very small. This was actually quite sizable, so I'd recommend you check it out and have fun with it, because it's a really fun game. Here we have another swap game note on set. You need to go to this program or shared game. So really, it's not the game ID that's important here. The program ID is more important. Go to this programmer's ID and download the Mirror series, Mirror's World 1 through 9. There are nine worlds of this game. They're all epic, amazing, awesome, 10 out of 10 S tier. Have to play them, have to go see them. This is your introduction to World 1. The swap game node on will activate. Once you've completed each world, you can go through worlds 1 through 9, which will take you quite a bit, just so you know. It's a pretty big game. As you can see here, left moves blue, right moves red. And so this one, this Joy-Con, this moves blue, and this moves red. But you move both at the same time anyway, so the controls for blue are inverted for red, controls for red are inverted for blue. And then X for low vision mode just means that the textures are gone <laughs> if you don't like the textures which I love the textures so anyway the goal is to run into each other and it starts out simple here right you want to avoid the spikes you want to get through the mazes and then we get a little little more advanced here with these little paths that we have to go through I like how it progressively gets more advanced but it never gets too hard so you can't complete it and right here we have our first major puzzle you have to make sure that you get this purple ball without destroying the red guy in the spikes and you make sure that you don't fall in the water. So once you die or get reset, an interesting thing here is the timer actually stays. So, and your timer carries over too. So once I move on to world two, the timer will stay the same, which is very interesting. So yeah, I would recommend that you go check the series out. Next up on the list, we have another game by Uma. It's called Pictobomb. There's 25 levels in this. They're all different puzzles. I have the answer key for every single puzzle on my YouTube channel, so if you ever get stuck or confused or you just want to speedrun it, go check that video out. It's like three minutes long and it's got Super Mario, Super Mario Galaxy music, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it and I'm sure you'll enjoy this game as well. Let's go check it out. So what happens if you die is you're, you'll come to this menu anyway. Um, you can continue and it'll um, let you continue on the stage you left off on, or you can just choose to restart entirely. If you press Y, the instructions come down, but you probably can't read them. Uh, the important part is that you just move and shoot. Like, that's the that's the entire game. It loads in the boxes here, as you can see, and you are this rubber ducky. You have five lives to start, and this percentage shows you how many more blocks you have to break until you've uncovered the puzzle, and the puzzle is a shape. So in this case, stage one, the shape is just like a plus sign, which you can't see, but this little detector will tell you which blocks are safe and which ones are not. See how this turns red down here? That means that these blocks are not safe, and if you do destroy these blocks like this, you explode, and then you lose a life. It's a very fun game, but it's very time consuming, just so you know in advance. Next up on our super amazing, awesome, epic list, we have Sonic's Game Build a Garage Adventure in Green Hill Zone. It's by Merherv, and it's adorable. It's my favorite Sonic game that I played all year in Game Build a Garage. It's really cute, it's 2D, the sprites are great, the mechanics are pretty good. Let me give you a little bit of a preview. 
Is this not adorable? You're this little Sonic and the sprite moves and when he's running he does this. You can jump and he does the classic Sonic ball thing. The rings have no collision which is nice. Some games the rings like you bounce off of them. There's this little bridge. Oh, it's so cute. Let's go this way. Oh, there's background and foreground. You can break this. Oh, it's so cute. I don't want to show you the whole thing. Oh, there's spikes here. Don't hit those. But go, go check out this game. It's a really cute, really fun little game. Next up on the list is a very special game by a very special programmer. It's called Super Mario Isle by A Upper. If you have not played A Upper's games, you need to go play them because all of his games are amazing. This one was um, the first one I saw on my list, so I downloaded this and I'm gonna show you a little bit of how amazing this game is. By the way, A Upper makes the best sprites in Game Mode the Garage. I don't think there's anybody else that makes them this insanely good. This game is also two player. If you have a second controller or a second player, you can play as Luigi, but keep in mind the camera stays on Mario, and if Luigi dies at any point, then the entire game resets. There's no, like, forgiveness for doing two people. Anyway, you can bounce on Goombas, you can shoot Piranha Plants, you do want to avoid the fire bros fireballs up here, and there is a bonsai bill over here. I want to see if I can live long enough to showcase it. Also, there's a coin- I believe there's a coin counter at the end, which will show you how many coins you've collected throughout the level. There's, I don't know if there's a reward or not for collecting them while I forgot. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the entire game here. Please check this game out because it's really fun, really well done, and visually amazing. Uma Returns in another Uma creation. The translation of this is approximately catch the apple, mouse required. So you want to make sure you have a mouse or you're doing this on the touchscreen because you're going to need it literally. <laughs> So in this game, you're doing double time. You gotta connect these over here so that you can move. Oh, we don't want that. We wanna move left and right. Come on, drag this over here. And now you can jump and stuff. And you grab this turnip to start the game. And you're gonna run into a couple problems here because remember, you wanna get the apples, not the purple apples. You can jump with B, but you also have to mind over here. There are gonna be flies that come in and you have to destroy the flies because the flies will destroy the connections and they'll prevent you for, from running or jumping anymore. See right here, the comments like, watch out for these guys. So you gotta click on them to destroy them. But it gets a little bit chaotic because you gotta look on the left and look on the right at the same time. But this is one of the best games in Game of the Garage. So if you haven't played this already, you need to go check it out. People have different ways of making title screens. Some people, it's just like, you see the screen when you start the game and you press A and it goes away. Some people make entirely separate games to represent the title. And this is the best of all of them. A Upper has created title Super Mario Jungle Isle, which is associated with Super Mario Jungle Isle, obviously. This is a swap game, new on game. Um, so if you go to this title and it's like press B to start, it's not gonna actually bring you to the game unless you have that game downloaded. So again, remember to go to A Upper's Programmer Shared Games so that you can have both these games, it'll work properly. But let me show you what this title screen, what makes it so amazing. Welcome to the title screen. We're not gonna press B, we're gonna press everything else. If you press A, the mushroom gets eaten. If you press X, some things fall from the sky. If you press Y, you get to mash this Goomba. If you press all the other buttons, you can do a whole lot of other things. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go into the game because I'm just mashing the entire controller at this point. This is the actual game associated with it. This is, I'll show you right here, Super Mario Jungle Isle. And it's really good, and the instructions are right here. Guys, if you wanna make an amazing game, put the controls in your game, please. B to jump, hold Y to run, mash Y for hammer. It's hammer time. And this, again, is another 10 out of 10 game. Really incredible, really amazing. And you grab these mushrooms for power, to like, increase your power, which is important. Also, do you see that background? It's a moving background. The apples, everything. There is a boss fight at the end of this, by the way. It is very difficult, the boss fight at the end. And there aren't any checkpoints in this because he ran out of nodons. But I would still recommend it because it's an extremely well done game. And in case you didn't want to go to the programmer's shared games to get the code, this is the code for Super Mario Jungle Isle. And yeah, go check it out. 
Next up on our list of the best games in Game Builder Garage for 2021 is Bomberman 64 Black City by Reshiram52. This guy made some extremely good games. He's retired since. But if you've ever played Bomberman 64, this is probably the closest recreation you could possibly make in Game Builder Garage. And even if you haven't played it, I'd recommend you play it because it's super good. Let me give you a quick preview. This is Bomberman 64 Black City. You want to make sure you do not hit these cars. Do not hit those buses. Do not try to ride on either of them. You will die. You cannot run and you cannot jump and you can only move the camera to the left and to the right. You can't change how it looks from the top. But yeah, you want to make sure that you try to get these cards. And I think there's another collectible actually that you pick up. And the goal is to get to the end and you win especially well if you manage to collect all the collectibles. Let's make sure we don't get hit by anything. We're just gonna traverse the waters over here. Get up here, give you a better look at what's going on here. It's real, graphically, this may be the most graphically impressive game I've played in Game Builder Garage. And gameplay wise, yeah, yeah, it's one of the best. It's one of the best. Arch is another really good creator that you should check out. A lot, all these creators made incredible games. They are top tier, top of the line creators. Here we have Game Builder Garage Mascot Creator version 1.03. This is really fun and kind of addicting because I spent a lot of time on it creating my own little character. Let's create another one just for you guys. Start off simple, with a simple little face. <laughs> and we can turn it into whatever we want. <laughs> I like that apple actually, can we, can we do that? Oh, there's so many options, how do I pick one? Oh, burger, monkey, custom, ah, oh, these are also great. You can lift it up and you can bring it down with X and B. The instructions are in the coding. There's no instructions here, but if you go into the coding, you can see the instructions. You can change the eyes. Hold on, let's change. Oh, I don't like that. That's okay, that's okay. Mouth, let's see. Wait, I like this big mouth. <laughs> hat, I like the top hat. Nose, <laughs> what are the other noses we have here? We have a doggy nose, we have a piggy nose. We have a person nose. <laughs> I like this nose. We'll keep this. Accessory. Yes, bow tie. Glasses. Yo. Yo, we're looking sly here. <laughs> nice. There's so many different things that you can create here. <laughs> so go check this game out. I'm spending too much time on already. Go, go check out this game. It's really fun to create your own character. If you're interested in knowing what all the different options are, just go to the programming screen and you can see all the textures here. These are all the eyes. These are all the hats, these are all the noses, these are- you, you can figure it out. This is all the cool stuff. If you're looking for an incredible exploration hub, Neon City is the game for you. It's by Yaza and it is super fun. There's no coin counter like there was in um, A Upper's Mario Isle. But you can collect pink coins through this. The goal, kind of, there's no end game note on I don't think. But if you get to the top of the tallest skyscraper, you do get fireworks, I think. And there's another person on note on waiting up there for you. It's just fun to explore. Let me give you a small preview. This is Neon City. The cars do not kill you, by the way. Is this not beautiful? Is this not gorgeous? All of this. It's amazing. You can wall jump can't jump. You can collect those pink coins. I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's see if we can get up here. Can I well jump between here? I can. Nice. I, it's easier to get up higher with certain areas though. Certain areas are more designed for wall jumping than this one is. Right here we're taking a tedious way up a little bit. But isn't it pretty? And those colors are changing. Which is pretty cool. Alright, we're up here now. There was an easier way to get up here, but we did the wall jumping version. And the higher you go, the more you can see. The goal, like I mentioned before, is to try to get to the highest skyscraper, which is over there. And yeah, it's a really pretty game. We made it to the top with the flag! <laughs> So 
you may be familiar with Minecraft, and that's the closest thing I can compare this to. Multiple people have done things like this, where you can create games within the game. This is Garage Builder by 64EST. Um, he said he's edited it, though, so I think he took it from somebody else and then he like made some adjustments. And you can do the same too. If you ever go and you copy somebody's game, you can always adjust it. Just make sure you give credit to the original creator and stuff. So let me show you how cool this game is. Hello. So you can move stuff around. Press A to place it down. Use the joystick to place it in place, I guess. And there's different things you can do. So you can do grass, you can do stone, you can do flowers, <laughs> you can do these ladder things, which I don't think these, like you can walk through these. They're not particularly special. Anyway, you wanna make sure that you build enough so that you can get to the end. <laughs> We're just gonna do some haptic stairs over here. Build enough so that at the very least, I'm not being very creative right now, but you wanna get to the end to this little flagpole thing right here. And then once you're all set and ready, you go, you go ahead and you start and you can progress and you can see your little creation that you've made. And there's a bunch of background music overlapped with each other for this, which is interesting. Um, but I think it's cool when people do stuff like that and go outside of the box. And you restart at the beginning once you get the checkpoint and then you can continue to edit from here. You can continue to go and do more stuff. Let's block this guy off so we can't get in. <laughs> Go check this game out because it's really, really fun. We have another garage builder here, this time by Waddle D. It's called Super Garage Maker version 2.0. It's similar, but different. Let me show you what it's all about. We have a slight upgrade here. We got some music. We got some nice aesthetics. We can move where we place it. A is to place an item. R is to change the item. So here I'm putting down some spikes. And let's see, put down these blocks and then put down some more spikes. You can put down some coins. And if you look over here in the upper left corner, it shows you like the limitations of how many you can do. I can put one of these down, which is nice. You can also, if you see over here, you can erase it with the rocket like in Mario Maker or individually with the eraser. And then L is the treasure chest, the apple, the balloon. You can do all sorts of things. You can add all sorts of things. Wee. And just make sure that, hold on, all the way over here is where you start. So just make sure when you're adding like your blocks, make sure you add enough blocks so you can actually have the person know it on get somewhere because unlike the previous game, you start at the end rather than the beginning, which is okay, but you wanna make sure that you keep that in mind. I absolutely love this game. Wrecking Ball Rampage by Robert. Robert created some of my favorite games in Game Builder Garage. I truly fell in love with this game and this one's no exception. Let me show you just how much fun this game is. All right, hold wide of view controls at any time. Let's go. <laughs> Let's destroy everything. Come on. I'm just, just, you know, doing my thing. Moving, moving everything around. And when it says tilt for the crane, it's literally meaning like you tilt your controller up and down to move the crane and the ball will follow. And the more you destroy, the more points you get. If you destroy treasure chests, you get extra points, which is nice. There's some more treasure chest over here in this red thing. Yes. Get all the treasure, destroy everything. I want this treasure chest too. Let's get this one. I'm I'm showing too much, but I love this game too much, so that's that's the problem. <laughs> you can knock down these giant stacks with different things on them. This just is just this is just a great example of how much fun you can have by creating something like this in Game of the Garage. So like I mentioned before, I am doing this live on twitch.tv slash pinksal. And on my Twitch channel, of all the different games I've played on Twitch, this is my Twitch chat's favorite game. It's DK Garage Submerged version 1.5.1 by Stadankle. Stadankle made a couple of other 2D Donkey Kong games and he's working on the King K. Rule game as well. He's been working on that for a while. He's just running into a couple issues with that little note on limitation. 
But still, you need to check this one out because this is 100% one of the best games in Game Builder Garage. Again, you get like a ton of bonus points if you actually include the instructions here. You move with L, you swim up with B, and if you hold Y, you swim faster. The goal is to collect the Kong letters, which will break open this box at the end and will bring you to the, well, the, the end of the game. There's a banana here. That means we must get it. Whee! And a K. The design of this game is really good, and the music, the custom music, is just like the original Donkey Kong Country music, which is really impressive. And this, do you see the swimming sprite, the swimming animation? It's insane how Sedanko was able to do this, and how great this game came out. So if you have not played this game already, I would 100% recommend that you go try it out. We're gonna stick with it with these water themes. We're going to play Release the Grack and Dojo Jam by Jung Junbu. Again, he, he makes super, super good games. Again, this game is no exception. This is really fun to play, and you should go play this, play this game, just like all the other ones but also this one. <laughs> so you are this little pirate ship and you want to avoid getting hit by anything except for the little kits that can help repair your vessel. You can see over there on the right, tells you what's going on. We have custom music here. Custom music is always a bonus. Gotta make sure we don't get hit by anything. Are there any repair vessel things that are gonna appear? I'd like to s show you guys. Those do get you extra points. Your score does increase when you get those kits right here. Yay! We didn't need any repairs because our damage is at 0%, but if you continue playing this game, you'll notice it gets slightly harder, increments in difficulty slightly over time. But it's a really fun game, really well done game. The sprite work, the music, it's a work of art. Please go check out Zhang Jibu's games, including this one. So we've seen Sonic, we've seen Donkey Kong, we've seen Mario and Luigi and everything, and now... We're gonna get to play as Wario and not Wario Land VI version 1.2 by Vagos. Vagos has created a work of art here. You have to check out this amazing puzzle game. I'm Wario and I will do this puzzle. <laughs> I don't know what to do for commentary because the game kind of explains itself without saying anything. You solve little puzzles here and there and uh, get to the end. And I like how the arrow appears. Honestly, the arrow is amazing. You grab this little key and you make sure you do not get squashed by that chain chomp because he will kill you. Okay, we have the key and the chain chomp rolls in here actually. So we just wait for the chain chomp to come rolling down. I didn't collect the coins just because I'm trying to go fast and show you guys. There's a spring that's gonna appear where I was just standing and the spring will bring you up here. Boing. I love all the decoration in this. He did, Vagos spared no expense with the decorations here. And then here's the next puzzle with the turnips and it shows you over here exactly what you're supposed to do. Again, you get bonus points if you create in your games a little way of telling the player how to play. And now we have to tilt the controller to get the fish in the maze. I won't show you the entire game because I don't want to spoil the entire game, but I think you already know in your hearts that you need to go, you need to go check this game out. <laughs> I've played a bunch of uh, Game Men Watch games in Game Builder Garage, and uh, I must say this one is one of the best. They're all, I mean, they're all really good. I've played a bunch of really good Game Watch games, but this one you're actually playing in a Game & Watch. The aesthetic is perfect. Everything's perfect. So let me show you how perfect it is. JVEG outdid himself. Ah, let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. The door opens kind of at random. You want to make sure you do not get hit by anything falling from the sky. Oh no, I got hit by something falling from the sky. <laughs> you get points by passing underneath the stuff and going in the door. I don't know why I decided to just stand there. Anyway, if you like Game & Watch games, this is the game for you because it's really fun, incredibly well done. Don't kill me. <laughs> and 
yeah, you, you, need to, you need to go check it out. Along with the other um, Game Watch games that I may or may not showcase in the stream, depending on how much time I have. But I highly rated all of them, because they're all really good. <laughs> There's this little game on the 3DS that you may or may not know about. It's called Box Boy. This is not Box Boy, but it reminded me of that. It's called Blocks Puzzle by Not Albert. It's super well done. It's super well done. All I have to say about it. Let me give you a small preview. Welcome to Blocks Puzzle. As you can see, A and B let you jump, and X and Y let you produce these little boxes. You use these little boxes to complete these puzzles throughout the level. I'm not going to show you the entire level because my time is limited. Um, but as you can see, these little boxes help you solve these little puzzles, and it keeps going for a little ways. And, um, yeah, I'd recommend you check it out, because it's really well done, really cute, and really fun. And we're back to showing off how amazing Uma is when Uma creates a game. He has created this game, Rob Bingo. It's kind of a puzzle game. It's very unique and very creative. You should definitely check this out. I'll show you a little preview of how to play. So the important thing here, this is how you start, and this is RNG'd, by the way. This is always random, what you see here. This is always the same, you have the five colorful hockey pucks stacked here, and then this is what it wants you to do. So this is number one, this is number two, three, four, five. And you move by being this guy up here. You move with the joystick, and you can open his hands, close his hands, move him to the left, move him to the right. So what we want to do right now is we want to close his hands, so we're just gonna close his hands by clearing this row. And now he's gonna grab these three, which is great. That's what we want. Now we want him to move left a couple, so we're just gonna go down here. You can also do it across. You don't have to do up and down like I'm doing. You can do it across. The instructions are here. You can also change the camera angle by using the right stick if you want to do that. And now we're gonna have him open his hands so that we can complete the first part of this puzzle. Nice. And you would just continue this until you got this, and once you've completed it, fireworks will play, you'll get to see his face, and you'll have a grand old time. So go check out this game. It's a really fun creation. Another star-studded amazing game by Uma. And here we have another creation by the incredible A Upper Super Mario 3D Isle. This also has a title screen. I'll show you that in a second. Here is the main game ID, and again, his program ID if you're interested in that. This is a huge game with his take on just how you can take Game of the Garage with so many limitations and make an incredible game that takes up the entire world basically, has incredible sprites, incredible gameplay, and you will have a fantas fantastic time playing. And if you were interested in the title screen, once again, he has created a custom title screen just for this game. If you'll notice a note on counter for the, for the title screen, and then you notice a note on counter for the main game. He, he made a giant, giant game here. And the title screen is no exception, so let me show you this little game. Welcome to the title screen. As usual, you can play as Mario. You can also change the camera angle, so you can see that little shroom down there. See Toadette over there. Hello, Thwomp. Hello, Dancing Goomba. Hello, everything here. And you have to press L and R to uh, start the game because A lets you jump because you are Mario, and Mario is amazing. Look at these sprites, do you see the sprite work? This man spent countless hours on these sprites alone. It's crazy, crazy, crazy how much time he put into this. He put six months of time into this game on top of making his other games. Anyway, here we have Super Mario 3D Isle. You can move to the camera, the camera to the left and the right. You can't move it up and down, so you can't see the entire, entire title, but you could see it like when you booted up the game. Anyway, Peach will give you some instructions. Luigi also gives you instructions. And then Bowser. <laughs> I, I love this. A upper goes above and beyond with this. Also, do you notice that in the background? You're gonna have to defeat that thing, by the way. You're gonna have to figure that on your own. If you go underwater, by the way, like underwater in fountains and stuff, you actually go underwater, which is a super cool detail he added. You will have to break all these blocks, by the way. This is Toad's mission. Each character has a different mission. They will give you a star for it. You have to collect coins and stars to beat the game and get Peach's cake. And when you have completed the game, there is an actual cake that shows up here. So make sure you beat the game so you can get your slice of cake. Also, if you're idle for too long, there's a little Easter egg. Mario will just flat out fall asleep. 
sides and sit down, waiting for you to continue. And then when you continue, he gets up and you can keep playing. <laughs> If you guys are familiar with the game Breakout on the Atari, this is a recreation of it. It's called Notanoid 1.0, and it's like a perfect recreation of it by SAS253. If you're interested in that, you should check it out. If you weren't interested before, I'll give you a small preview so you know what to expect. We start on level one. It loads in. You can see this is the amount of blocks left. Your lives are down here. The level is displayed over here and your score is over here. There are different items that come down from here. The red ones are bad and the blue ones are good. Unless you want a smaller platform, then the red ones will make your platform smaller. See? If you wanted a smaller platform, uh, you can do that. But that might happen because you don't have enough space. Get ready! And the items are randomized every single time, I think, so every time you open up a new game, it'll do a different thing. Oh, I love this one! This is the Bubbles one! It makes you super powerful! Aww, I'm glad I get to show this one off because this is probably my favorite, favorite power-up. Yay! Bubbles! It does run out eventually, but it's fun while it lasts, so go play this game because... Breakout, apparently... Breakout's where it's at. If you come into my Twitch chat and submit a game, I'll probably play it, and that's exactly what 64EST did. 64EST created Mid-Evening Showdown, had me play test a couple beta versions, and this is the final version of his game. There's also a secret character you can unlock. I won't tell you how to unlock him, you're gonna have to go figure it out on your own. This is a great game, you can do it in easy mode, hard mode, or two players. Let me give you a small preview. You can change your character, which is pretty awesome. Who do I want to be? I want to be the guy with sunglasses. He's awesome. All right, let's do easy mode. So this is a reaction game. It'll show you the instructions in a second. I think. You have to press the button when the thing appears. Oh, I'm so glad I made that. I was like staring at it and not blinking. <laughs> And I like how, if you get it, your player smirks, like, hey, 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 hey. But let me see if I can show you where it's, the secret character is up here in the corner, I think. Here it is. This is the secret character you can unlock. If you can figure it out. Next up on our 10 out of 10 tier list, we have another game, Climbing Mount Paperwork by Boxings. This is a very cute little platformer. If you're into this sort of thing, as you can see, there's this little, this little box boy you gotta help climb the mountain with. You should check this game out. We are going to hike up the mountain. And there's no coin counter, I don't think, so you can collect coins, but I don't think it really affects the gameplay. He didn't add in a counter thing for that. There are random pencils in the background, which I like. I like how he looks like a drawn character, so it's like somebody created him and left their pencils out on the desk. And you just continue and progress through the level. It's a pretty- I think he takes up the length of the level? I wasn't keeping track. Anyway, go play this cute little game, because it's a great little game. If you like Earthbound, if you like pixel art, if you like funny games, this is another game for you. This game is by Zelda Boy, and as I like to call it, he created the entirety of Earthbound. Let me show you. Welcome to Earthbound. I'm Ness, and I can walk around. <laughs> he did a really good job with these sprites and these animations and everything. And as you continue... <laughs> Uh, yeah. He did not finish this, actually. Spoiler alert, he did not finish the game. But it's a pretty great, for a basic demo, it's pretty great. I love the sprite work. I like the movement. I like the animation. I like everything. 10 out of 10. 
I'll translate for you in case you can't read Japanese. This is Salmon Run 2D by Ponta. Ponta has created an incredible game here. I've begun working on an English version of this. Um, it's not done yet. In my previous monthly recap, I did include the first beta code for that. Still not done with it, but it's a really fun game regardless of whether you can read Japanese or not. If you like the Salmon Run mode in Splatoon, I'd recommend you try it out. And even if you haven't, it's a fun game overall. Who will do the part-time job? And you can choose your character using A, B, X, or Y. I like choosing this girl right here. You recharge with ZL, you shoot with... No, you re yeah, you recharge with ZL, you shoot with ZR. And you press A to start. And the goal is to get rid of the baddies who will start coming up here. Ah, my high score is over 100. I forgot the exact number. I took a screenshot of it somewhere. But this is really fun. And there is a Salmon Run sequel. If you want to check out the sequel to this, go to the programmer's shared page for Ponta's page. And you can download the sequel there. Both of them are super, super fun. As I like to say, Zelda Boy did better than the original. This is Excite Bike by Zelda Boy, as I just said. It's super good. Super good. Like the best. Probably the best version of Excite Bike I've played. Go download that game ID. Go check out all of his programmer ID games because they're all really good. Let's go. Press A to go, press B to jump, and you're gonna need to jump because there are some mud pits you're gonna have to get across. Not that one, this one. There's mud pits like that. I'm not gonna show you the whole game actually, because I don't want to spoil everything. But it's really good and really well made. If you like a tight bike or just racing games in general, go check this one out. Line Rider was a super good creator, and one of their super good creations was 15 piece puzzle. Obviously, this is a puzzle game, but it's a pretty good puzzle game. It is really fun for me to play. Let me give you a small preview. I love this sort of game. I remember when we used to get like party favors. This was one of the party favors games that we would get. You are timed, but I don't remember. I don't think there's like a penalty for the way that you're timed. I actually played, uh, what was it? It was like a three by three version of this and it was actually harder. I found the three by three version to be harder than this version. I actually don't know what I'm doing now. I, I just wanted the one, two, three and then I kind of improv from there. But make sure you, if you like this sort of game that you check this out because these are really fun, these little puzzles. Again, we're back to Uma. Go to Uma's programmer's shared games page if you want to check out all their games because he is an incredible creator and he made a million super good games. I don't know exactly what this says in Japanese, but this is WarioWare in Game Builder Garage. It is definitely the best iteration of WarioWare that I've seen in Game Builder Garage. Other people have tried to make like mini games and stuff, but there's multiple mini games in this. Let me give you a small preview of it. Okay, let's see how I do. I want to make sure that I clear at least five floors. First floor, what do we have? We have this one. Simple game. Simple game. Well, I mean, they're all simple, but... Yeah. <laughs> what do we have here? Alright, this one's tricky because sometimes the duck jumps. And sometimes I jump into the duck, and that's not so great. And we have the rocket ship one now. The aliens are randomized on where they're placed, so you gotta keep an eye out for that. You never know where they're gonna be. Fourth floor. All right, the baseball one. This one trips me up the most once it gets faster because you know in WarioWare as you get to higher floors, uh, the mini games get faster. That one definitely trips me up the most. This one's probably one of the easier ones with the fish. I like eating the fish though. I think you've seen enough. Speed up, yeah. We're done with the speed up. Go check out Uma's games, especially this one because it's really fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll end it off here. Sadly, I have run out of time on my stream. I do have a stream time limit, in case you didn't know on Twitch. Uh, personally, I don't stream too long. I don't stream too short either. 
And right now we've reached the end, but I will show you one more game. I will showcase one of the games in the arcade. This is my favorite game in here. If you come over to this station, we have Squirrels of Fury EX. And this one, crazy, chaotic, and fun. Go play this game, it's so much fun. You have to destroy these purple squirrels while avoiding the red squirrels and also collecting these apples as they appear. It's just like super fun. I'll just come to this game periodically and just play it because it's super fun. I don't remember what my high score is, um, but I just remember every single time I play this, it's super fun. Super, super fun. You do have lives, and once you run out of lives, it says game over. You can return to the arcade by pressing L and ZL together. Um, I'm not going to return to the arcade, though. I'm going to end it up here. So thank you so much for watching. I may do a part two of this because I want to showcase all the best games from Game Builder Garage. Some of these I showed before in monthly recaps and some of them I did not. And I want to make sure that you guys get the best experience when you play Game Builder Garage. So please go check out the games today that I've shown. And I'll see you guys next time.